Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So before I begin, I just want to apologize for any noises that you may hear in this video. Um, the place that I'm living at at the moment is quite, um, it's quite noisy. And unless I shoot this in the middle of the night, I can't really um, get out all the sounds. So um, I actually want to talk about uh, the energy at the moment. I want to talk about the energy as we come up to this full moon that we have this week on Tuesday. And I also want to talk about how we can best maximize the energy that we have during this lockdown period or during this time in which most of us are in isolation. And so, well, the first thing is that as we come into this full moon, you're gonna find that some kind of love energy comes to the fore again. And you're gonna find that it might be simply um, a glimmer of something from the past, which you may be reminded of. Not that you feel attached to it or you feel like you need to actually go anywhere with this, but something that just pops up from the past, an old energy pops up from the past. And it's almost like it's saying, well, hi there again, and remember me, and I'm off now for a while. So this is what this energy is about. So if you're actually feeling something for an old love, or if you're feeling something towards your perhaps twin flame or some kind of soul connection, which you have put aside for a while, and now it's coming up again for you, then just don't worry about it. It's something that's just there as a reminder to say, I'm going to take a break right now. And the next few months is going to be free from that kind of energy. And there's going to be possibilities for other kinds of love to come into your life and for other kinds of connections to be experienced during this time. And so this is actually a very interesting period. If you feel like you need to go deeper into that energy of soul connections or love, and you feel like you need to explore that a little bit more, then I would suggest that you simply do that from an internal point of view. So you don't necessarily interact with the person or try to find that the meaning in the connection with that person during this time, but that you feel that within yourself at this moment. Which brings me to my next point. Um, and that's so much about what we are supposed to experience right now and how we are supposed to experience it and how we are supposed to be in touch with our power at this moment. So this energy or what we have imposed upon us is very much a restrictive energy. And it's very much a, um, well, a shutdown energy. It's like saying, you know, go back, go back, go indoors, stay indoors, um, control yourself, constrict yourself, okay? And I must say that when I heard that our, the country that I'm in right now, South Africa, was going to go into a lockdown a couple of weeks ago, I actually felt a tinge of excitement and I, not because I was um, excited because, you know, of the drama of it all, but rather because I knew that it was going to bring us somewhere into a space where we can experience quietness within us. The solitude that we can experience has great power and it has a great immense power of, to heal and to work with healing energy, but especially to be able to come into one's own power so in fact, while governments may be saying to you, stay indoors or stay away from everyone else, and you may think that this is a disempowering energy, it is actually a very empowering energy. And the, the trick is actually to use this energy in an empowering manner and not to get bogged down with the disempowering aspects of it, but actually to turn it inside out and make it work for you. And the way in which to do this is to experience the power that moves within you. So however you do that, whether it's through movement, whether it's through painting, whether it's through, through speech, whether it's through some kind of medium, whatever it is, whether it's through ritual or ceremony, this is also a very good time for ritual and ceremony. However it is, what you need to be led from is within you, within your core. You know, you need to be, it's like a Kundalini rising type of energy. You need to actually activate that. You need to work with the power that exists within you, within your core, and bring it up and bring it through you so that you can experience this, what is actually going on right now. So what is this about? Well, it's actually interesting because you're not going to be able to access this energy by talking to people or by uh, engaging with others or by uh, coming together with others in a way, uh, whether it's virtually or 
physically. This is something that you can only experience, not from, um, you can only experience it from an intuitive intuitive point of view, from an instinctual point of view. It's some, something that you can experience from an intellectual point of view. So it, it's not it's not uh, managed by the brain or by rationalism. It's actually something that is moving within you and you are moving with it. And it's something that you have to bring out from inside of you. So interestingly, this voice or this power exists within us all. And it's the it's like the heart that beats within us all. And it's this energy is something that is connected to your soul and your spirit. It's it's connected to that. And what we're actually doing is we're activating that soul and, and that movement inside of you. And we're bringing that soul to the fore and we're asking that energy that the soul is emitting to come forth and hear and talk and give us the way forward. The way in which we can do this is when we quieten out other voices, when we quieten out advertising, when we quieten out media influences, and we simply feel from within. We feel and we allow that feeling to guide us. So as I was saying, there are many ways in which to do this. And um, for me personally, I find that the best way to do this is to put on some music uh, which I feel that my soul resonates with. So not something that I necessarily enjoy dancing to or necessarily enjoy uh, listening to, but something that my soul feels um, moved by. And as I have this, I allow it to help me move and I move guided by this. That's just my way, right? So others may find that drawing or paint, painting or doodling or perhaps um, fixing something, repairing something or cleaning or whatever it is that floats your boat basically, whatever it is that brings you to that oneness in you where you feel connected in that moment. You know, so with some people it's simply fixing things and they feel like they're in this zone where they can actually uh, go ahead and and feel connected to the universe in this moment. And so what is important not to do? So it's important not to escape. Escape. It's important not to watch loads of YouTube videos or go on, you know, a Netflix kind of run and just watch t tons of things because what you're doing at this moment is you're escaping and you are running away from what it is that you need to be experiencing right now. Because what we need to realize is that it's important for us to be able to come in touch with this power. And we've been given the opportunity to do that. So, you know, with the hustle and bustle of daily life, we actually don't get a chance to be able to experience that energy and to experience the power that we have within us. We all have immense power within us. And it's now is a time, a very crucial time. And, um, and a kind of, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's like a, the, just the perfect time to be able to come into this energy and to feel this power and to turn this energy inside out. So where, as I said at the beginning, uh, where you might be feeling restricted, it's about where, finding that power within you, finding that core inside of you. And the only way you can do this is if you quieten down and if you stop uh, listening outside of you and you listen inside of you. So whatever it is that you can find that you can actually go into a space and listen to the the experience or the feeling that you that's coming through you and in a way it could be through meditation for some of you although i feel like this is something that um it's just not just in the mind it's not just it's not at all in the mind actually it's almost like it needs to come through your body it needs to come through an expression of something in the body and so it's it's something that's guided to come outside of us it's like a uh, a contribution that's going to help us uh, that we need to make and one of the things that you're going to find as you do this is that this contribution is going to be exactly what you need right now in your life to bring that healing that you need to bring you in balance to bring you if you are already in balance to bring you to bring that balance further along or to bring that development or that growth that that part that you're on just a little bit further along so whatever you need to be doing right now, it's going to come through you and it's going to be healing you and it's going to bring you more into a space of empowerment and it's going to help you to understand who you really are. And so uh, I think in the last uh, time I did an energy update, I talked about the coronavirus and uh, it was a very somber message, I remember that. And I actually, 
uh, think I didn't I talked more about the energy and I didn't tell you how you can use this energy or how you can actually work with it aside from the fact that you should stay really positive but this is one of the ways that you can work with it. This is one of the ways in which you can take the energy that's presented to you and imposed upon you and turn it around and make it work for you. And as I said many times now, this is a great time for healing. It's a great time for bringing energy into the world. It's a great time to access your power so that you can actually heal. We are all healers. We all have this power within us and we all have the ability to heal ourselves as well as to heal those around us and to be able to bring this energy in the world in a way that is beneficial for us all and not um, regressive. It's not regressing, okay? So I want to say also that Whatever it is that you are thinking about is actually not going to work for you. It's always going to be right now, at least right now, okay? It's going to be what you're feeling. Be guided by what you're feeling right now. Do what it is that you're feeling right now because that is the message that's coming through you and that's what you actually need to be doing right now. So I think I'm going to end this video here because it's already a bit long and I actually want to say that... Um, I'm going to give a few more updates as we go along and as the, the energy comes to the fore. Um, oh, there's one more thing I want to say. I think it's important to be able to feel the changes that are going on in your body, whether you're male or female, especially in the reproductive organs. Feel the, the changes that are going on in this moment because you're going to find in the next few weeks that there are that your body, your reproductive organs, or that area that is on this in the second chakra area, is actually going to be talking to you and going to be advising you. It's going to be almost like telling you what it needs and how you need to be working with it. And you might find that there are some imbalances that suddenly start um, finding a way to express itself in there. Things that you didn't even know you had these imbalances. And this is not something to be fearing. This is something that you can just hear its voice and it's going to resolve itself. It's going to actually resolve itself and go away. This is an energy that will last about three to four weeks and at its, at its height, and then it will resolve itself. But if you're feeling unwell and if you are concerned about this please consult a doctor so but if you are just feeling there are some changes in your reproductive organs and uh, recognize that this is something that is part of this energy right now and it's not something to be feared but just hear what it's saying to you and uh, in many of those cases it might be saying well go to a doctor but I think that for for most of us what it is saying is that um, there are some imbalances or injustices from the past which need to be brought into balance and there's something here that needs simply to be resolved and whatever is happening it's almost as if it's an expelling of toxins that allows you to come into balance in that area now in terms of the energy at play it's working with the first chakra energy in this way it's working with the second chakra energy but most of it is in your solar plexus so understand where it is right now and what it is that we are do, working with and how it is that it's going to be beneficial for you and um i don't often talk about chakras etc but i think in the last couple of energy uh forecasts or um oracle card readings i might have mentioned that and i might have actually talked about doing chakra balancing clearing etc and I think that this is a really great time to work with those first three chakras to work with the um, the base chakra and the the second and the third chakra. So go ahead and do that if you feel inclined. And please don't feel afraid for, uh, for of anything that I'm saying to you with regard to imbalances in the in the second chakra. This is it's not my intention to instill fear in you in any way or form. Uh, it's simply that if this happens, if you find that this is happening, be understand why it's happening right now. And that's the only. Um, reason that I speak of these things. So I'm wishing you all very well. Stay healthy, stay safe, and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.